okay let's uh, core the to do application server side so i have created a to do app in this app i have two folders client and server let me go to the server folder and then here i have to code for backend right so for that i have to create a node js project the command to create a node js project is npm init hyphen y hyphen y gives yes option for all the inputs from npm init okay now npm init is done so once the npm init is done right if you if you if you go to the server you can see a package or json is generated okay uh, it is telling it has few things right okay now for the back end what all i'm going to use okay for the back end i am going to use express right i am going to use express framework for that i have to install express okay and then i have to install nodemon mongoose to connect to the mongo database now all these things i have to install mongoose i think can you skip space and give nodemon dot env so these are the packages we need when you work right mongoose is used to used for mongo db interaction nodemon is used to basically uh, start our application um, and dot env okay now if you see right all the application is installed and what version is installed you are seeing in the package.json okay and then all the you know you see the node modules folder created and all your application code right whatever you install the code will be available in this node modules folder whatever application you install right now you can start coding our application so let me create a, a index.js file okay so i have created an index.js file okay so you can start coding the first thing you have to do is you have to start the http server so to start the http server i am going to uh, use express for it okay so for that i have to import express okay import i am giving any name from express okay once i imported right i will use the app variable store this express and then i have to start the uh, http server the function is listen some port number 3000 and some function this is an arrow function right and then uh, you put a code by own basis and you can input any console log telling that server is running on 3000 okay now when you use port right when you when you use import you have to do something in package.json which is you have to put type as module here this is required if you are going to use import okay so this is done okay and then usually what you do you will do npm start right that is what you do when you do npm start what has to be done i run right so that command you have to do here so when you do start i have to run the server right i can use node mon index dot js you can also use node okay but if you use node whenever you change the file right you have to stop the server and start again then only your changes will be updated else what you have to do if you use node mon this stopping and starting server stopping and starting has to be done but it will be done automatically you need not do that's the advantage of using node mon okay this is done in the index.js uh we have started okay so then you can start the run okay you can save it and then uh, you can give npm start so this is basically should start the server and tell your server is running on port 3000 that's it so this is done what is the next step you have to connect to a mongo database 
your demo the job so let me connect to a mongo database so for that okay for that let okay let me let's try to connect to a mongo database okay so constant um, some function connect a arrow function to connect to a mongo database now how you connect to a mongo database you have to use mongos so i have to import mongos from that right so import mon from mongos right so always right it's better you put uh, anything you are connecting to a database right any problem might occur so you can put it in the try try block okay and uh, in the try block i will what i will do is uh, uh, mon dot connect and i have to give a url to connect correct right? i have to give a url to connect now the one more way to give a url right is is like i can use a dot env i can specify the url the port number and all in the dot env so i will just create a file as can i any way dot env so in this file i am going to specify my port number and url okay so this is my url mongo db url and port number so if you don't know anything about mongo db i would recommend you to watch the uh, next video uh, and then come back here um, so in the next video i would have uh, given how to create this url how to create an account in mongo db okay uh, you can leave the initial part is about thread you can leave that and you can watch only the mongo db video and come back here okay and then you will understand better about mongo db please watch the next video in the playlist and come back now okay so this is connect okay uh, env is there right so this i want to use this variable here right i just want to put mongo connect mongo that's what i want to do so but i have to what is mongo it is there in dot env file i have to how to how to bring it here so for that i have to import uh dot env here okay so i'll import dot env module okay and then if i call dot env config right if i call this dot dot config what happens is all the variables which is there in the dot env it will be it will bring it part of the user environment okay the all the variables will be part of user environment okay so what is the object which is part of the user environment okay you will have something called as process dot env so this is the object which is which refer which refers to the user environment it has all the variables user environment variables okay so dot env what it does it puts a variable in dot env in the user environment so now this this variable is now available in the user environment now this is how you get the variable here okay similarly instead of port number i can use process dot env dot port so that if i want to change anything i go to the environment and change this is the best way better way to port okay so i am trying to connect here okay and then let's put a message that connected to mongo db okay okay if there is any error i have to catch the error right here i'll just log the error okay is fine okay so now if you see here right uh, connection to a mongo database usually takes long time you should not wait for it okay so i will call the connect here you should not be waiting for that 
So this has to you make it as an asynchronous operation. You have to make it an asynchronous function. So asynchronous function can run in parallel. So this connect function will not block. So if you just make this function async, the connect function will not block. It will be executed later. You can your or your code will be running. Okay. And here we have to wait until the connection is done. So I will do a await here. So I have to wait until the connection is done. Then only I have to print this. Okay. Now if I start the server. I am seeing an error. Okay. So the dot env file was not saved. So once I save it, uh, now it is working. Okay. Connected to the MongoDB and uh, it is uh, now things are fine here. Okay. So we have now the two things we have done, right? We have started the HTTP server and we are connected to the Mongo database. 